Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining me with Thursday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. Our lesson for today is Saul among the prophets. Saul among the prophets. <clears throat> and our lesson is coming from 1 Samuel 19, verse 18 through 24. Amen. But before we get started, I would ask, would like to ask if something is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free and jot them right at the bottom below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, I would like to ask if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we get together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord, that we may be more proficient doers of his word and not hearers only, giving us comfort in our time of trouble, in our time of, of problems, and even in our good times, our blessings, we, that we'll be more uh, understanding that the Lord would guide us and lead us in what we are to do and how we are to behave as we some are being blessed with finance and different things in their in their life that the Lord would guide them in their finance that they may be able to uh, handle it in a way that will be a blessing to them amen before uh, we're gonna get ready and have prayer then we're gonna start right into the lesson Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you. We thank you because you are wonderful. We thank you because you are God Almighty. We thank you because you are our counselor, Lord, even and especially during this time in our life, guiding us and leading us in your true path of righteousness. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are our everlasting Father, being with us and standing by us, holding our hand and guiding us and leading us and showing us the way to go. We thank you, Father, that you are our Prince of Peace giving us peace and comfort in our time of turmoil, in our time of trouble, in our time of blessing. We thank you, Father, that you are with us, counseling us and leading us and giving us peace and comfort at this time in our life. Lord, we give you honor and glory. Lord, we thank you that you do open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear, and you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high that we will be more proficient doers of your word and not hearers on. We thank you that we walk with you daily and that your Holy Spirit resides in us and it reminds us and we take heed to it and be doers of your word and not hearers only. In Jesus name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get started with our lesson. Saul among the prophets, Saul among the prophets, come from 1 Samuel 19, verses 18 through 24. Amen. And this is a question that's being asked. Is Saul thought to be now considered among the prophets because of what the Lord uh, brings upon him and how he allows him to go forth? Amen. Uh, scripture lesson text read uh, 1 Samuel 19 verse 18 to 24 it said now David fled and escaped and he came to Samuel at Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him and he and Samuel went and lived at Naloth and it was told Saul behold David is at Naoth in Ramah and then Saul sent messengers to take David and when they saw the company of the prophets prophesied and Samuel standing as he over them the Spirit of God came upon the messengers of Saul and they also prophesied when it was told Saul he sent other messengers and they also prophesied and Saul sent messengers again the third time and they also prophesied as we see right here that uh, uh, Saul uh, is thinking that someone or something is above what God is doing at this time, but he is not realizing that he has no control of what God does. When God decides to do something, it is done. Amen. It said the 22nd verse says, then he himself went to Ramah and came to the great well that is in Sukkah, and he asked, where are Samuel and David? And one said, Behold, they are at Naoth in Ramah. And he went there to Naoth in Ramah, and the Spirit of God came upon him also. And as he went, he prophesied until he came to Naoth 
in Ramah. And he too stripped off his clothes and he too prophesied before Samuel and lay naked all that day and all that night. Thus is it is said, is Saul also among the prophets? <clears throat> Even as the Holy Spirit came upon Saul, he did not allow this to stop his, his hatred and his madness toward David. Amen. But yet and still, he should. He, you would think that he would see that God is in his control. God is designing this. But even though he is not uh, taking heed to what is happening, uh, what is going on, that he has no control of what of what God does. Amen. Commentary says, In flying to Samuel, David made God his refuge, as all of us should make sure that we make God our refuge in our time of, of trouble, and even and especially in our time of blessing. Let us make God our refuge, and as we make God our refuge, we can therefore be uh, blessed and, and be guided in what we are to do and how we are to go and how we are to do, behave ourselves. Samuel as a prophet was best able to advise him what to do in this day of distress. He met with little rest or satisfaction in Saul's court before, therefore went to seek it in Samuel's church. What little pleasure is to be had in this world those have who live a life of communion with God so that David returned in the time of trouble so impatient was Saul after David's blood so restless against him that although baffled by one providence after another he could not see that David was under the special protection of God amen and we also would like to bring out the fact that you know we see here that <clears throat> Sammy here has a, a, a place of uh, gathering for the people to come for uh, understanding and advice and to heed that advice. This is what the church is supposed to be about. When you go to the church, you're going for advice and, and, and understanding, and you're going with your mind open to receive what the Lord has for you. And as you are going to him to receive this, you take it into heart, and you go back home and you meditate on it. Now you uh, after you finish uh, studying with the word of the Lord, you meditate on what God has for you. And as he gives it to you and open your understanding, then you are to go forth and be doers of that, what he has taught you in his word. It said, when God will take this way to protect David, even Saul prophesies, many have great gifts, yet no grace. They may prophesy in Christ's name, yet are disowned by him. Let us daily seek for renewing grace, which shall be in us as a well of water springing up into everlasting uh, life. That Holy Spirit that is within us, if we allow ourselves to be used and to be uh, uh, taken uh, over and, and walk in what we are receiving of the Holy Spirit, then we will be a well of everlasting water. We will have be it, there will be no end of our being able to be a blessing to others, our family, our uh, those that we we are seeking to bless. They will see what we are doing and how we're walking and how God is blessing, and they will know that God, for God, for sure there is the scripture said that that there is a God. God, and that if you live the life that he's teaching us, then we shall receive that he has for us. It said, let us cleave to truth and holiness with full uh, purpose of heart. What is our purpose in heart? Is to be doers of his word and not hearers only. To meditate on his word day and night that we may uh, live the life that he has for us. It says, in every danger and trouble let us seek protection, comfort, and direction in God's ordinance. Amen? This is a powerful empowerment that we must seek God and as we seek him and do what he teaches us, then we we shall have the providence and the protection and the comfort and the direction that God has for each one of us. Amen. This is a great and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a wonderful and blessed day.